We're live. We're live. We're here. Hi. <laughs> um, and we're not muted. Okay. We are such pros at live streams, don't you think? <laughs> we are terrible at live streams. So if you have not already, pour yourself a drink because this Cheers. could be interesting. Who knows? I mean, it's a Monday night. So, oh, I should. Yeah. I think it's bad form to toast and not say cheers. I don't know. And take a drink. And not take a drink. Hey. Yay. Hi, guys. CoolQuest just bought new property in Upper Michigan. And, and then those who glam together, Mike and Joni, yay, thank you so much for coming because for a minute I thought we were going to talk to ourselves, which is fine. We do it all the time. We don't go live that often, so I fully respect <clears throat> it. Hey, Simple Life Big Adventures from Tennessee. Oh, it is wind down time there. I'm so excited to see um, these guys because they've been, their videos have been um all of our favorite places in Tennessee and like Rainbow Falls, they oh, hike yeah. Rainbow Falls. So that's really cool. But Cool Quest just bought, I hope I'm saying it right. I've never said it out loud. So if I'm saying Cool Quest, if I'm saying it right, just put it in the chat. And if I'm saying it wrong, correct me when we're on live. When we're going on live, we're going live with them at some point. Let's see. Hold on. April. No, right there. Oh, right there. April 25th. April 25th. April 25th. Um, so anyway, but they brought property in the Upper Peninsula, and I don't know. They were really excited about the co the coyote footprints that were there, and like all of the potential wildlife out there. So, um, so that's that kind of exciting, and it would be scary for me. But I can't wait to see what they do with their property. And then they went on a, they went on a, a vacation to somewhere warm. So. That's really exciting. As opposed to us who went on a spring break somewhere, not warm. Not warm. Wolves. That was, I said coyotes. Oh, wolves. wolves. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm like coyotes. We have coyotes in our backyard. Okay. Maybe I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wolves. I, I undersold it. Sorry. Yikes. Um, it's been an, it's been an interesting um, couple of weeks, months. weeks How months. How long has it been? It's been, know. it's been a, an interesting March and I am so glad it's April 1st. I'm ready to be done with March and put it behind us. This is bliss. Hi, guys. Um, yeah, don't go live. Like, live, being going live, if you do it regular, regularly, like, I think you've got a rhythm. We're random when it comes to live streams. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just really happy when anyone shows up. And I really, really appreciate all of you for so coming So thanks for tonight. watching now. And thanks for watching later if you watch it later. Yeah. So what's been going on in March, Coleman? Well, um, I had thumb surgery. There was that. I mean, it, technically it's wrist surgery. They took out a bone down here because of arthritis. And I'm not allowed to move my wrist for three more weeks. He's man sick. It's so I, fun. I, yeah. He needs help doing, well, not everything. Not everything. No, no. I'm. Oh, you're left-handed. It's right hand and I'm left-handed. So I don't need help doing everything, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah. I don't know. I you need help TMI. too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in addition to thumb surgery, and then, Brian's car was totaled in an accident. So before the thumb surgery, no comment. <laughs> not related to the thumb surgery, it was mm -hmm. a completely totally different thing. They got my car totaled, but we have a new car now, a Nissan Rogue, and I'm loving it. Have you been able to drive it much? I drove it today. There you go. How was that? I never asked. Um, driving it today one-handed was pretty good. Um, you didn't try to drink your coffee while driving. I did not try to drink my coffee while driving, officer. Mm. <gasps> you did? No, not at all. Oh, God. I'm so glad. Um, Manzik is so right. Um, any Every woman out there can appreciate that comment. 
And honestly, you, you're in on the joke. You get it. I, I get it. I, I've said for months I'm going to be man sick and milk mm -hmm. it for all it's worth. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. <clears throat> so there was the, I gotta, the car. I, I got to roll my eyes and drink wine at the same time. The thumb was planned. The car was not planned, but it made for a uh, kind of crazy couple of weeks in March. Yeah. But our end, March ended well, I would say. March did end March well. March ended very well. We were in cold, cold Northern Indiana. For my spring break. Who on spring break goes Why? to Northern Indiana? Why? Because that is where RVs are made. <laughs> it is. Like, yeah, we, we, we took a pilgrimage of another sort up yeah. to Elkhart, Elkhart County. And uh, it was kind of nice. We uh, got a lot done, took a lot of videos. Looks like the captains. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carpal tunnel. Oh, oh no. Man. Wow. That's sad. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. You know, because of up the spring. I fortunately though, I drive the RV. Otherwise we wouldn't have gone anywhere. Yeah. Because of this, Michelle had to do all the driving for our trip up to Northern Michigan. Backed or up Northern the RV. Indiana, I backed up the RV. We won't talk about how many times I didn't do it well, but I did do it well one time. She navigated several gas stations really well, which is better than me. The first time I ever pulled my parents RV into a gas station. They had a class, uh, a class, class a. a. And the first time I ever pulled into a gas station, I got hit. You hit someone. Honey. No, I got hit. <laughs> the insurance company says that you hit somebody. No, they uh, hit me because I swung out and then they hit me. Okay. Well, we're going to debate that. I was there. Um, but I did navigate Amish buggies, which if you've ever been to Northern Indiana, lots of Amish buggies. And I, I will say that that scares me a little bit because I like to give them a lot of room because you never know what a horse is going to do. So, um, I felt good about that, but we haven't just been there. Like, let's talk about our latest travels. Like since we, I mean, YouTube isn't necessarily in the same world that we're in, <laughs> in YouTube world, we're still on the Camino, but we haven't been. Well, we're on the Camino. We're in Tampa. We're oh, yeah, on... that's right. Because we've had a lot of <clears throat> RV tours. Well, I mean, this season, we've been to Hershey, Pennsylvania for the Hershey RV show mm -hmm. a couple of days. We were in Tampa for the Tampa Super Show for a couple of days. Whoa, Nellie. Hey, guys. I love saying that. This just makes me happy. Whoa, <laughs> Nellie. Hold on. I have to... Okay. I love it. Okay. Um, we have Tampa RV show, Hershey RV show. A bunch of other RV We've been shows to all around Ohio. Cleveland, Thanks, Columbus, Jenny. Dayton. Thanks to those who glam together. Um, this is all because, and I think every state should have this, uh, the Ohio RV content creators group uh, put together primarily by those who glam together. So I have to give them lots of love as always. Um, and um, and came in with the confers. So the the three channels we really spearheaded the this group. But I think every state should have something like that because the support that you get just having a content creators group. I mean, I know that there's the RV content creators group that a lot of people are in, but just having people in Ohio uh, that you not only can get with online, but you can get with in person is really neat. And then going to all of these RV shows and doing meet and greets, it's been really fun. It has been. Fun, kind of cool. I mean, we've we've had a lot of so we've done a lot of RV shows, but we've also um, we were in Florida over Christmas break. Sanibel <laughs> Island. Excuse me, Florida over Christmas break. We were in um, oh Tennessee. Uh, Simple Life, Big Adventures. Always get me excited there. Uh, we were in uh, Townsend. Townsend. We 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 camped in Townsend for at, Thanksgiving at um, Mountaineer Campground. That was a really nice campground. That was really fun. It was nice to be on the peaceful side of the mountains. I really enjoyed that. That was fun. We didn't do as much hiking, but we zip lined. That was fun. We did hung out with my family because my I have family that lived down there, so that was fun. And then while we were at Sanibel for Christmas, um, that was nice. We had pretty good weather down in Sanibel. Met we up did. with some friends down there. That we did. was awesome. I broke. What did I break? Oh, I. I, we think I might have broken a rib or at least bruised a rib. Oh, I took yeah. a bike accident. That wasn't any fun, but oh, well. Uh, so we have been really busy. I well, mean, that's just. First, where did, I mean, we've said, where, where's your favorite place you've been so far oh, this yes, year? Oh, yes, please tell yeah. us. Throw it down there in the comments. Simple Let's... Life Big Adventure says they'll catch us in East Tennessee. I sure hope so. But I think when we were in Tennessee, you were somewhere warmer. I think you were in. Um, uh, well, we were there. Courtside. I think you, got, you guys were around Courtside. When we were there. That was Thanksgiving. When yeah. We were there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, so I don't, I don't know exactly where 
uh, where they were. But anyway, tell us where you've been. Where are you at now? Where are you traveling to? What's the next big adventure? If you're on an adventure, like tell us what's going on right now in your world. We, we need to hear this. Uh, Maine is our big adventure. Yeah, that, uh. they're following Gary. Follow Gary to Maine. That's really exciting. Um, a lot of people are heading out there and I wish we could go. They're going to be gone while we're gone. While we're, we're gone. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I promise we'll get there soon. But before, so in the comments, tell us where you're at, where you've been, where you're traveling to. Whoa, Nelly said. Uh, oh, well, Texas. Texas for the eclipse. That's exciting. We're heading to the driveway for the eclipse. <laughs> We're going anywhere. We're not going crazy anywhere. Um, They're saying Dayton, Ohio is supposed to get like more than a million we're, tourists. We're in the totality. We are in the totality and we're supposed to get like a million tourists. All the schools are canceled. There's a lot of things going on. We're going to go where the pickup truck bed is and sit in the bed of the pickup truck or sit on our back patio. And just pulling the fire pit out in the driveway and yeah, and see what happens. put a bonfire on when it gets dark outside. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, Heading to the camp oh, for your anniversary. Oh, happy early anniversary. That's exciting. How many years? Please tell us how many years. Happy anniversary to you. Oh, happy sorry. anniversary. That, that's probably a copyright violation. I shouldn't do that. No. Yikes. By the way, I sing. It's not a <laughs> copyright they, they YouTube would not it. recognize the song. <laughs> seven years. Oh, seven years. Happy anniversary. That's very exciting. So let's talk you about it. remember seven years? Seven years? Yeah, it was itchy. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it was not itchy. Okay. Seven years was great. I want to talk before we tell, before I talk to you about where we're going this summer, I want to tell everybody about Indiana. Indiana. So exciting. It was really exciting. We are Coachman Apex brand ambassadors. Some of you have known this for a while. <laughs> it's been a while that we've been working on it. We started the conversations in August thought that like a contract would be signed soon. This is Bliss is, Bliss is going to Niagara in June. You're going to love it love if you Niagara haven't been. If, tell me in the comments if you've been there before or not. Um, but this has been a long time coming with the um, with the coachman because we thought that we would have a contract in, in September. It became a Christmas present, which that's <laughs> fine. I'll take any present I can get. And so it became a Christmas present. And then we were out there and it really like they, the, the, we filmed a video. So if you haven't seen it, I think I shared it in the community tab um, where Coachman Apex um, announced it. But what does it mean, Brian? Tell us, like, what does it mean to be a brand ambassador? Well, the big thing is we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. So a lot of, uh, you know, we love our Apex and I, it's just a great trailer for us. Mm -hmm. It's a great couples coach. Mm -hmm. It's super lightweight. Most all of their coaches are the Apex coaches are under 6,500 pounds. Um, and of course the remote line is even lighter weight than that. So they're, you know, lightweight. They like to say it's well, a lot of, did you say the remote, the nanos are light and everything. Yeah. Um, they like to say that it's a lot of trailer for the weight that you're getting. Um, we've loved our apex. We've been in it since 2017. And I would love to say we have no intention of getting rid of it, but maybe we might later. Later, Get not it. now. We're not it, not now. Couple we more got years. modifications that are going on like crazy. We <laughs> got things to test out. We got a lot to tell you about. So a, a few more years, I think we'll probably be making a switch to a new rig. But what's really cool is right now, like when we were out there this week, I um, was able to say Brian was able to say, you know, that's not practical or. You need more storage. Here's a great well, place for storage. For example, there was a brand new floor plan. It's a 2025 floor plan that they're getting ready to introduce. And that's all we can say about that's it. That's all we can say. Um, but it came, the prototype, the very first one came off the line on Monday morning. We got to go in it on Tuesday and film a video of it. Mm -hmm. And then the designer said, so what do you guys think? You know, give us some feedback on mm -hmm. it. And there were a couple of things that I was like, eh, I'm not super crazy about this. And on a production meeting on Tuesday afternoon, they incorporated the changes that we yeah. suggested. Like, like we, we had conversations and then they had a product meeting and we were the topic of conversation. Well, Brian and Michelle said this, Brian and Michelle said this. And so and they were right. Ooh, I like that. That was really, <laughs> it was so exciting. It's exciting that 
um, one, they value our opinion yeah. and two, they're flexible and willing to make those changes like right there. So that was really, really exciting to see. So we walked through three different prototypes that are 2025 floor plans. Um, we got to look at a 26, well, a 25 or 26. They don't know yet which model year it's going to go into, but we got to look at another floor plan that's coming down the pipeline and got to give some feedback on it. And we got to see a prototype model of a two things that are the first one is the first thing ever in a travel trailer of this weight class. And the other one is the first ever of anything in any travel trailer You're dancing on across the, line, the industry. Coleman. I know. You're dancing on and the line here. There will be videos coming out about those things in about later, a, later, later, later. In okay. May. So what <laughs> I'm like, stop talking, stop talking. I'm so nervous. I know. I'm, like, I'm so nervous. Um, but At least we know that Max and Andy, who are the general manager of Apex is Max and the product designer. No, I'm sorry. The general manager is Andy and the product designer is Max. And they're both on vacation this week. So they're probably not watching this video. Yeah, but they will watch this video. So, <laughs> um, but we um, we get to like share this feedback. They're showing the, you know, these new designs to us and, and we're able to like talk to them about it. So all of that is just really, really amazing. I love how open they are. I love how willing they are to just have those conversations. And I love seeing like, you, you know, could you imagine going into an RV and being like, that's my change. Like I did, I said that. And, and that's, that's pretty cool to think about, but not only that we did some tours and these are some videos that are going to be coming up. We toured the lamination factory. Oh, super cool. Um, Hey, Confers, you're not late at all. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so to watch how lamination works, so to watch the how they put the metal frame together of your RV, the styrofoam that goes into your RV, and then the lamination process, that the way it's glued on. And Coachman does a two-step process, a two-step lamination process, and they are one of the only ones that mm -hmm. do this process. So like the security in your walls, you know, like that waterproof, soundproof barrier that's there is pretty impressive. And we've got those videos coming out um, soon. We toured the um, Apex um, Ultralight and the Apex Nano um, plants. Those tours are coming out. They should be out sometime in May. And that is what's really cool about that process is to see the chassis of your RV. Oh, so and funny. what's the first thing that goes on it? Okay, I'm gonna let you think about what do you think the is the frame of the RV? What what's the first thing that goes on the frame of your RV? Put in the comments what you think it is, and then we'll tell you in just a second. But watching it all come together, watching the cabinetry go in and watching it all begin to look like an RV is quite impressive. So somebody said paint. No, you're not right, but keep trying. I love, I love it. Um Go ahead. Oh, I'm, it's just the whole thing was really fascinating. And um, the thing we learned from coach, from Apex is that they're willing to give a tour to anybody. All you yeah. have to do is call and say, we want to come up and take a tour. And I'm going to guess that other RV manufacturers are like that. I don't know. I we don't know. haven't worked with any other RV manufacturers. But somebody but would want to go tour all the plants. Apex says that they'll let anybody come and take a tour. You just have to sign up. So the first thing that goes in holding tanks, good one, but... That's technically, technically it's underneath. Well, at coach at apex and Northern spirit, because Northern spirit and apex are made in the same plant for right now. That's going to be changing in about two months. Um, but apex, they flipped the frame upside down and put in the holding tanks and some of the wiring and the underbelly. And then they flip it back right side up. Camping with conference said the floor. Yeah. And then the floor goes on. And then the toilet. And then the toilet is the first thing sitting above the floor. The toilet. I mean, which is kind of funny to me because how many times have all of us in an RV done a toilet test to make sure it fits? And I'm thinking, hmm, is it because the toilet goes up and no one's checking the walls? But you know what else is interesting? And I meant to say this earlier is think about how many times have you as a chef, I'm not the chef, but Brian is. How, how they, is the chef in the toilet going to work? Gonna, it's coming together, I promise. <laughs> How many times have you made a meal to test out a new recipe to see if it works? And, and then you're like, okay, I can tweak. Mm. Imagine RVs put together a prototype RV to see if it, if their design works, if it comes together. Like to me, that's really fascinating. 
a dinner is low stakes. Like there's not much, I mean, it may be an expensive ingredient here or there, but an entire prototype RV is pretty, it's a pretty impressive thought it is. to do that. Like, that's, um, that's like, it's kind of like, do you put those on the, um, reject shelf by any chance? Like, can I get a reject price? <laughs> on an yeah. RV? Like, how does that work? I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I'm just talking. We, we haven't really thought to ask them what happens to the change, like the prototype that's sitting or what happens when they make changes. Do they rip it all apart? That and, one or yeah. What? Who knows? But we saw a couple of other prototypes too. We saw a Northern spirit prototype and like, it wasn't done inside. There were yeah. things that were just missing because it was the prototype. Yeah. Um, it's very cool. So let's talk. Uh, so, so those are just like really cool things about becoming a coachman apex and um, remote brand ambassador. Like we're just really excited about what the involvement is and the video footage that we have coming. Like that's just really, really exciting. Um, uh, blemishes save a lot of money. I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> like I I'll take the knockoff. I'm yeah. all in for an, I can take a scratch and then I don't, I don't need perfection. Perfection's overrated in my opinion. Um, so that's what's that, that's some of what's coming up in our YouTube channel. Let's talk a little bit more about what's coming up. And in the right. comments, I have to scratch in it. I have to, Michelle, what was the thing around Amish country in Elkhart County that you were the most fascinated about on this trip? I don't know what. So there were all over know. the county as we're driving around. I don't know. What do you There are all of me? these Amish farms with oh, little. Oh, I know. I some know. of them had, you know, a, a door on the side of a barn, or there were several that had outhouses or like the little shelter bus stop for the kids waiting for the bus to pick them up. And on all of these buildings, on the sides of the buildings was. So they, they would use old RV doors as the door. So like the door to your outhouse, the door to your barn, the door to your shed. shed. We're, bar we're RV doors. Like, and most of them were scratch and dent doors. It was kind of fascinating. And apparently that's a thing is like, there's sometimes scratch and dent refrigerators or TVs or whatever. I I need to know where all the scratch and dents apparently, are. Apparently <laughs> up there, you can get like a dorm fridge or an outdoor kitchen fridge for like five bucks if it's a scratch and dent model. And they I do mean, this a couple of times a year. I don't know what everyone does, but everyone seemed to have an RV door covering some part of their house, not their house, their main somewhere living, but their somewhere, house. which yeah. is, I think kind of interesting. Okay. So what's going on in YouTube world for us? Hey, Chuck and Sherry. Hey guys. New grandparents. I saw those baby grandbaby pictures. Oh my gosh. They were so, so cute. Baby doesn't love to take a photo, but I don't care. Adorable. I mean, not Ava adorable. I mean, she's Ava. So. <laughs> she's Sorry, Ava. guys. Um, We're partial. <laughs> we are. I think everybody is. So the Camino, the Camino Frances, um, we are, well, we've been on YouTube, finished with the Camino Frances for a little Longest while. Longest Camino ever. <laughs> but we've been, uh, if you've been keeping track of those videos, we've been on the Camino Finisterre, which is the route from Santiago to Finisterre or Muxia, which is the Camino Muxia. Um, and we walked from Finis from Santiago to Muxia to Finisterre. And I finished editing the last Camino video this morning. Thank goodness. He's got to finish it before we go somewhere else this summer. So nice. um, <laughs> love you. <laughs> uh, that video, the one Brian just finished, will be out like in a week or um, I think it's so. next Sunday. Next Sunday it's either maybe. next Sunday or the Sunday after that. It's coming up. Um, we are right now working ahead because we are in crazy work season. We leave in 60 days, two months from now we leave. And so like Brian is working tons of hours. I'm working tons of hours trying to get wrap up the school year. So it's been a little crazy, but coming up on YouTube, we've got, um, we've got RV tours with the dance floor. We have two <laughs> RV tours where the RVs have what we would like to call a dance floor. Cause I don't know if you know, I don't, I don't think I put much on social media this season when we're kind of not traveling as much in the winter, we take swing dancing classes. And so we love, we have, we actually took ballroom dancing and swing dancing classes this season. Uh, I think it's the second season we've done both and it's really fun. Swing and dancing, no pineapples. I saw, I was looking at, well, never mind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. All right. So we have those two that are really cool. And they have um, what we're calling dance floors. And then on the opposite extreme, the uh, remote 
we got a couple more RV tours. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> we've got a couple of RV tours coming out. The 18R and the 15R, those that's the remote. It's the the new little like off-road RVs that'll get you anywhere. I mean, they would take you to Alaska if you were going there. Like yeah. that's really a cool thing. Um, and then we have a collaboration video coming up. We're really excited. I know camping with the Compers. I, yeah, you you guys are in it. Yep, Compers um, are there. Um, oh, I don't, don't remember the don't other. Don't start channels. listing because I don't know if the list is final yet. Yeah. Um, so Compers, we just called you out on it. <laughs> I, hope I hope you've edited that video. <laughs> They're like, it's April first. We haven't filmed that video yet. It's twenty one <laughs> days away. We filmed it last week. Um, so we're doing a collaboration video with them where we're showing, um, RV modifications. Our so, favorite, our 10 favorite RV modifications. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. Um, and then uh, what's really exciting is we still have footage from 2023 that's coming up. We're going to be showing you Barcelona and Granada. So if you've and ever thought about going. The Camito uh, del, Re uh, del Reos, the, the Walk of the King, uh, which what? is one of the coolest hikes we've ever done. The conference are working on it. Good, good. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to call you out there. Yeah. Um, um, the the Caminito was this little tiny hike that we took in southern Spain that was along a river gorge. Cliff edge. And, yeah, like we were on cantilevered boardwalks that were like 200 feet above the water. It was really, really cool. Yeah. And a little scary. It was a little scary, but it was really fun. A little scary. So we're going to be showing you those videos coming up, uh, interviews with the Coachman Apex leadership team. Um, we've got some of the sales guys, the general manager, Andy Brock, and the product designer, uh, Max Kegel, and then Deb O'Rourke, who takes care of all things um, customer service related. So that's really exciting. But um, that is... Oh, we're there, aren't we? We are there. Wait, no. Bum, bum, bum. What is that? Cruising the globe. So we're cruising the globe all the time. We're cruising the globe, baby. So uh, <laughs> this is really exciting. This is a new logo um, that was designed by a student this semester. This semester, last semester. This semester, it's all it blends together this we do, year. Uh, we do a bunch of um, projects with students at Michelle's College with the graphic design and new mm -hmm. media program where they um, come up with, we give them <gasps> topics. Brandon! Hi! Hey, Mr. Uh, hi. This is our Camino son, Cousin the Globe. <laughs> it says Cruise of the Globe. Oh, that's your own typo. I do the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what did I say? Um, anyway, so we do a lot of logos. This is one of them. So they do a lot of projects for us coming up with, uh, we give them some ideas and then they give us logos and other projects that we have that come up and you'll see a few of these today yes Cruising what are oh. we doing um I think I, I think i have a logo for that hold on here we go are you ready so on june 1st we fly out because wait a minute i have to click something there it is Dun -dun. we're doing another camino can what? you believe it all this rv talk and we're doing another camino let's tell you why Thank you, Chuck and Sherry. It's, I know, autocorrect. I get it. Um, uh, first of all, we have to give credit here. Wait, credit where credit is due. Um, the first one, the Cruise in the Globe, came from Sashaya Pettigrew, who is a student at Michelle's College. That is her Instagram handle. She does have a professional page. That's the Cruise in the Globe out. logo. Very yep. exciting. And the Camino del Norte came from Alyssa Owens, who's another student. Professor Dawson does a great job working with these students. Yes. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun for us because, you know, everything we do kind of comes from a teacher background. So so here's the cool part about this um, this Camino. Gosh, I can't believe. First of all, this is the third summer in a row that we're going to Europe. And honestly, I'm shocked. And hold on before you go. Oh, it's not about RVing. Yeah, hold right, on. We got hold more. on. It might be I, my finger. Hold on. We're over here. <laughs> I know. Right there. Stop. Um, and uh, so a couple of things. One, tell us, Brian, like show us the Norte route. Um, I'm going to have to go full screen for that. Let's see if I can do this. Brian's trying new technology. I am. I got split screens going and I don't know what the heck is happening here. Wait a minute. There, there we go. Okay. It's not super big, but you can kind of see that that's the route that we're going to be walking. It starts in a, well, let me see. Can I go, go here there? Yeah. Does that help? 
Yeah. Kind of helps. Okay, there we go. Okay. So it starts in Arua, Spain. Which Arun. Arun. Sorry, I'm going to mess this up a lot. So that's all the way on the right side of the screen, Arun, which the city of Arun is actually a split city. There's a river down the middle of the city. And one half of the city is Arun, Spain. The other half of the city on the other side of the river is in France. And it has a different name. Yeah. So... Um, then you'll see we're walking all along the coast. So we're going to spend our entire summer on the coast. Beach on the right side. Mountains, mountains on, on the left, left side. Very excited. And then we will be walking into Santiago de Compostela. So, uh, Brendan, are you going to come with us? Because, I mean, you know, our, if our son's not there, oh, wait, it's before not really we, Camino. Before we go off of there, here's the, the, the trickiest thing about this. That's the elevation chart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is... It's going to be some, so basically it's a little bit of up and down every single day. And there are going to be a lot of stairs. Put that one in the back of your mind because we got more to tell you. And over there, you see that 300, 600, and 900. That's meters of elevation. So remember, 300 meters of elevation is about 1,000 feet. So most days we're climbing about 1,000 feet almost every single day. Thank you, everybody. It's going to be an absolutely awesome trip. It's going to be Fantastic. I'm so excited. So a couple of things. Um, number one, we weren't planning on going back to Spain this year. We were not at all. This plan just started. It's it doesn't it doesn't look too bad, but yeah, it's going to be there might be a little bit of whining in the video. So, you know, drink your wine while you watch us. So I'll tell you, we actually had an itinerary mostly planned out in the camper because we were going to do a camping trip to the Pacific Northwest. We had the whole thing. We were going up to Canada, decided, oh, wait, are you, yeah, the Canada one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We were going to go um, across, like take 70 over and then go up into Oregon and Washington and then go up to Vancouver and come back through several of the Canadian national parks, the Canadian Rockies. And then we decided we really need a new pickup truck before we can do that. And we don't have new pickup truck money. Well, I don't know if they, I don't have new pickup truck interest rate money. And then Brian's car was totaled. So, you know, that ref reminded us why we're not ready to do that. Um, I uh, I appreciate that, Chuck and Sherry. Thank you so much. Um, so we are not ready to do something big like that. But then there was a second reason why we decided not to do that route. And that is because, so, you know, we're, we're older. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we're only older. one of us. Uh, he's flying to he's flying to Japan. I know, I know. Um, anyway, so we um, so we have decided that we are going to do whatever is on our bucket list right now. We want to do the hardest things, the biggest things on our. We're calling it a bucket list, not a bucket. Don't throw it in the bucket, but rather book it before we can't do those things. Um, we call it the charcuterie trail. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, the hardest things that we can do are on our list and they have all moved to the top. So we have an, a, another route in Europe that we want to do. I don't think we'll be doing it next year. I know we won't be doing it next year, but there's another one that's on the short list. Machu Picchu is on the short list. Um, Count, Mount Kilimanjaro is on the short list. Like we've got some really big hikes on our short list that we have decided before our bodies say, Hey, you should just hang out in the camper and do day hikes. We want to do the hardest things possible, right? Yeah, We want to do it now, do it while we can do it. And the RV is always going to be there and we're always going to RV throughout the year. I mean, there's plenty of RVing to be done. Um, as a matter of fact, with this trip, there may be a 10 day RV excursion so we're still working on that. We leave in two months and we're still working that one out. But the thought we are going to go to. Da, we're da, da, da. starting our trip in Paris. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. We're starting, we're starting our, our trip in Paris. So we're going to be in Paris for 10 days, the beginning of June before the Olympics. But we are so we're doing be, a pre-Olympic video tour. We're going to do a Paris guide. Yeah. Uh, right before the Olympics. So that is really exciting is we want to we want to be in Paris before the Olympics. Well. We want to be in Olympic during the Olympics, but we don't have Olympic hotel money. Let me just tell you, for one week in Paris during the Olympics, I could buy a new pickup truck. Yes. So, no. So, we're going to see Paris before the Olympics, which is really cool. 
We're going to see like all the excitement. I mean, I feel like it's going to be really exciting. That's the beginning of the trip. Then we're going to do a really long hike. Then, oh, and by the way, I've never been to Paris. So if you guys have suggestions. Paris suggestions, throw um, them at us. Things you want to see, things we shouldn't miss. We know we're doing us. the Moulin Rouge. We bought those tickets yesterday. We know we're doing a big food tour. Obviously, we're going to go to the Louvre. We're going to go over to Versailles for a day trip. But uh, if you've got other suggestions, uh, we're going to recreate that uh, ABBA song about uh, picnicking on the Seine. So, yes, uh, we have to have a little romance, you yeah. know, we've been married for more than seven years. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, so we're going to do those, do a really big hike. I think that's like 33 days, something like something that like of that. hiking. It's about 500 miles. And then we're going to end our summer doing 10 days in the Netherlands. So that's the and everybody's like, Whoa. I know. <laughs> I'm really excited. Windmills, tulips, Gouda cheese. How to. I know it's called how to, it's but how to it cheese. Gouda. It's not good. And what's the other cheese? Who knew? Adam. Adam cheese. Cheese and apparently pickled herring, which I'm going to eat it. We're going to go gonna see where it. all of where the flowers are sent all over the world. Um, we have a couple of pilgrim friends that we're going to see in the Netherlands. So that's really exciting. Um, and we're maybe hoping... there will be a, a, a red light district Amsterdam video. No, there won't. I can tell you that. It'll right be Michelle now. going, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Delish all that. I mean, seriously, I could just eat Gouda cheese right now. That just sounds so good. I'm sorry, how to? Um, no, there will not be any videos of the. I mean, I don't. I don't know what's going to happen, honestly. And part of it depends on if we are going to like if this RV plan flushes out. It just depends. There's a lot, a lot to. Yeah, if you are a praying person, pray that it works out because we're really excited about that. Send us all the good vibes and love. So um, Paris. The Camino Norte and the Netherlands is our summer trip. That is just the summer. And then when we get back, we've got some really exciting things. Ohio RV content creators. We've got a weekend with them. We've got a weekend. We're going back to Indiana to get some film of some 2025 RVs. Um, we're going to uh, probably head back down to Tennessee. So um, Simple Life Big Adventures, we'll probably be back down there. For Thanksgiving, yeah. And we'll in. be back down to Florida uh, for uh, Christmas. So that's exciting. Uh, we've got some, also just a lot of good weekend RV stuff planned. What are you yeah, looking at me I'm like? Just... Oh, I feel like you're looking at me like you've got something to say. Um, so we've got some really, I don't know, it's really exciting trips planned. I don't know. What do you guys have planned? Um, I, I've seen some. Somebody said Niagara. Somebody was talking about Maine, obviously, with yeah, uh, Gary those, Hahn. Yeah. Um, what are the other big summer trips? Yeah. Uh, Brandon's going to Japan. Japan. Brandon, Brandon, are you touring Japan or are you hiking Japan? He's touring Japan. Um, it is a full year. I would agree with you. And somewhere in there, we have jobs that we have to go to and we have to teach and do all the things that are related to that. <laughs> we got to pay for our travel. <laughs> yeah. Um, got to spend time with the granddaughter, of course. That's always a good thing. So um, so we've got a pretty ambitious. Uh, oh, and the other big news. Other big news is we have started here in the Dayton, Cincinnati oh. um, area. We have started a chapter of American Pilgrims on the Camino for Southwest Ohio. So this is pretty exciting. We got the logo, the logo you're about to see. We Wait, just um, got there it. Is. Nope. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. There it is. <laughs> this is our brand new logo designed by, tell me, put up the oh, banner. Who designed, designed this logo? This, is Charity's design. this was Charity Martell. So Charity is the student that won that design. And this is all like, they all submit designs and this was her design. And it's, if you don't, if you're not from the area, it's Museum Center, which is in Cincinnati. And of course the Wright Brothers, Wright Flyer, flying over Museum Center. So that's really exciting. This chapter already has close to 90 people interested in the chapter. Yeah. So we're really excited about this chapter. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got two people that are um, coming on board to lead the chapter with us. Co-coordinators. So, yeah, so that's going to be a lot of local hikes. Um, those of you who don't know, we lead a winter hiking challenge here in the Dayton area. And it's just going to kind of reframe what that looks like. No skyline chili. No, sorry. That stuff is nasty. I mean, it is. It is disgusting. It's not chili. That's because Michelle spent several years living in Springfield, Illinois, which many people do not know is the civilized chili capital of the world. 
<laughs> uh, it's really good chili. You know what you start with when you make Springfield, Illinois chili? Bacon. And beer. And well, beer goes in later, but bacon is the first ingredient. It's way better so than obviously wine. you can't go wrong if you start with bacon. It's true. It's true. So um, we're really excited about what that's going to do. It's not it, this. This chapter really isn't about cruising with the Coleman's. Um, it's not about us. It's, it's just part of us giving back to the community and the greater pilgrim community. Yeah, there are a lot of people out there who want to hike, but don't feel supported. They don't know where to start. They don't know how to start. I mean, the idea of walking 500 miles around uh, across the country sounds intimidating. It sounded intimidating to us the first time. It sounds intimidating this time because we haven't been hiking this year as much as we should have been hiking. Yeah. And so, um, you know. It's because of my thumb. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so we've got a lot, um, you know, we've got a lot of people out there that want to be supported. And that's what we want to do is we want to support them as they're, you know, thinking about this idea of pilgrimage and what that means. And also just like helping them understand what pilgrimage means. So yeah. there are chapters in, um, in Indianapolis. There's a chapter in like Columbus, North, North East Columbus. And we're really here to serve the Dayton, Cincinnati area. But yeah, if you're in that Southwest Ohio tri-state area, Southern Indiana, Northern Kentucky, Lexington, um, if you know within an hour or so of Cincinnati, if you want to come out and hike with us, we'd love to have you come out and hike with us or come to one of our other meetups. Yeah, just send chapter. us an email and we'll put you on our email list. Uh, you can get our, you can just message me somewhere on social media if you're interested. But yeah. Um, where people come down, like a lot of people come from out of town for Christmas parties, um, like some sort of like, we'll have like some sort of fall party. So there's times when that's going on. So people come from far away for those kinds of things. So that's pretty exciting. Um, okay. I think we've exhausted. I'm not, thank you so much. You guys are all so supportive. I'm like, I appreciate all of you so much. Uh, I appreciate that all of you are here. I get very excited when there are 11. I hope that you've liked. I don't know what if, if anyone's hit the like button. I always am amazed when I go watch YouTube videos and it'll say like 500 views, but 12 people have liked it. Why is that? Why? Like to me, the first thing I do when I go watch a video is I like it first so that that way I know that that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I watch the video, leave a comment, and then I move on. Why don't people just like it? Like that know. way, you know, you've we, watched it. We I have don't... to remind our parents and our kids every time, hit the like button. Hit the like button. It's helpful. I just don't know. It's human behavior. And it makes me go, hmm. hmm. I think hmm. there's a thesis paper on that. Probably, but I'm not writing it. That's a, that's a, you put two words together that don't go together. I love you. Oh, a thesis. Well, a thesis. <laughs> a thesis. Uh, for a paper. Or a research paper. It is a good question. Thank you. It, it, it perplexes me, but people in general perplex me. And that's why I shouldn't be on YouTube. <laughs> All right. We are not going to keep this live stream going anymore, but Hey, um, we, thank you. Uh, when you leave, you hit the like, whoop, can't be with the conference. It's like, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. We, we will hit the like. Thank you so much. So listen, we are very excited. Coachman Apex you're going to see more Coachman Apex uh, videos from us. And Coachman Remote. And Coachman Remote. You're going to see all kinds of um, videos of us traveling abroad, cruising the globe. That's what we do. Uh, the older we get, the more we want to do, the sooner we want to do it. And we, we know the RV is going to be with us forever. And hopefully we'll have money soon to buy a bigger pickup truck. We just want to keep taking adventures and taking yeah. anybody who wants to watch along with us. So thank you all so much for coming tonight. A uh, couple things. There's that collaboration video coming. I know Camping with the Conference is going to be in that collaboration video on April 21st is when that video is going live. And then um, if you're in the Cincinnati area, we'll be at REI on April 24th doing a presentation on our 2023 Camino. And then on April 25th, we will be with Cool Quest on um, their live stream talking about what's coming up and what's going on. And I'm so excited to talk with them. That's really exciting. So have a nice night, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chuck and Sherry, for joining us. Thank you. We really appreciate you coming out. And hey, it wasn't April Fool's joke. No. Nope. We were Everything here. today was completely factual and has been fact-checked by the Coleman. Oh my gosh. All right. Have a good night, everybody. We appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.